Live from last week, episode 11, aka for Chloe, level 11. Let's go! Welcome you, my fellow jaywalkers, to this week's episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. I apologize for starting this week's episode a little bit late, but it's because all day today I was working on editing episode 10, which you guys can check out up here. But we've got a lot to cover today. Wanted to wish a happy birthday to Cresso. I've known this guy as a fellow colleague of mine at Wysik. Us being fellow CAs and all, running the floors and steamer parties. I hope you're doing well and staying safe, Cresso, and happy birthday. Another birthday shout out to Nicole. Happy birthday. This young lady that I know is actually the previous owner of the black motorcycle that you've probably seen in one of my episodes. Now she has her own baking company making baked goods for people all around the GTA. I hope you're doing well, Nicole, and you have a great birthday. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to my Tita Chi. Happy birthday. I want to thank you, first of all, for raising up my fiance into the beautiful grown woman that she is now. And also thank you for the amazing kari kari that you make. And for the numerous foods that you cook that I can bow in and bring to work. Hope you're having a marvelous birthday and we'll reunite again for a family gathering when this pandemic is over. Also earlier today, I backed up the truck on one of these stocks that I had. The only thing is, I have the touch of death with these stocks. And after I bought a whole bunch, the price of the stock went down. So here's a pop-up of the losses that I had for the day. However, I did pick up a penny stock earlier today. And luckily for me, so far, it has broken even. But in other news, I did get something delivered to the door today. Ooh, a package for me? I was thinking about opening this special package earlier today, but I think we'll have to wait till tomorrow to find out what's inside. And I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys yet, but I cooked some pizza for the fiance. I made this. So it's a beautiful Wednesday morning and I am out with my bike. Plus I decided to go grocery shopping. The only thing is, I forgot my bag. But the good thing is, I found this ad on Facebook Marketplace. I know that the fiance is gonna kill me for buying this, but I do need something to carry the groceries home. So yeah, here goes another spontaneous buy. Wow, I totally underestimated this purchase. This is my hand in comparison to this backpack. And this is my bike in comparison to this backpack. I really don't know how I'm gonna carry this home. Bike, meet bag. Bag, meet bike. I would say that was a pretty successful adventure. I got uh, the fiance some bungo pan or taiyaki, which are these custard filled pastries that I always get for her whenever I'm at that Korean grocery store. It's good. But anyways, hope that treat worked as a distraction for the real reason why I went out, which was to get that delivery bag. But yeah, before I go to work for my first of three night shifts, I have a quick birthday greeting. Want to wish a happy birthday to Mitchell. This guy used to be a childhood friend of mine 
who I randomly ran into when he was working on an elevator at my old building at Wysik. Just want to wish you a happy birthday, Mitchell. Hope you're staying safe, and when this pandemic is over, we'll catch up over a beer. So, I know I told you guys that I was going to open this package yesterday, but after hearing how the stock market has been doing lately, yesterday's losses, compared to today's losses so far, I just was not in the mood. Going into my second of my three night shifts, maybe I'll just leave opening this until the weekend so that I actually have something to look forward to. But let's turn those frowns upside down and do some birthday greetings. Wanted to wish a happy birthday to Nate. I remember meeting you at an all-inclusive trip back in Cuba at Brisas del Caribe. And the good times we had there. Hope you're doing awesome, Nate, and you have a great birthday. Also wanted to wish a happy birthday to G. Someone that I always had looked up to from an athletic standpoint who helped show me what it takes to be an elite competitive goalkeeper and a leader on and off the pitch. Thanks for doing that G. Hope you have a great birthday and hope you're staying safe. Also wanted to do a birthday greeting to my Tito Ray. Happy birthday. Just wanted to thank you for your hospitality when my family went down and visited you guys in Jacksonville a couple summers back. As well as how you helped us navigate Florida. Hope you have a great birthday, Tito Ray, and hope to visit you guys again when this pandemic is over. And last but not least, I got a birthday greeting to Conley. Happy birthday, Conley. This university friend of mine was someone who I first met at an FSAT event back when she was a freshman at FSAT Hollow Halloween. And I remember shooting pics for your birthday as a present at Korean Cowboy for your Crunk for Conley event. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, Conley, and hope we can reunite sometime in the future to catch up. Happy birthday once again. So I actually was thinking about editing some videos today. The only thing is, last night's night shift was a little too busy. So today I'm feeling quite tired. I was also only able to get about 3 hours of sleep after night shift. The one good thing is, tomorrow after my night shift tonight, I'll be able to open up my package that I've been telling you guys so much about. So if you guys are as excited as I am to open this package, keep watching. But before I go into work tonight, just want to show you a couple of things. I don't know if it happened to you, but the TTC app, Rocketman, that tracks TTC buses, instead of showing the buses on the bus routes, it showed pictures of puppies. Another thing is, even though it wasn't planned, I really enjoy how coordinated me and my coworkers are at work. To work with these guys, it makes work go by so much more quicker and work that much more fun. So here goes to a nice steady night shift for the third of three nights tonight. Finally, after ordering it last week and after my three night shifts, I get to open up my package! Every four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. So, to continue on with my off day, I think I was too excited to play with my phone earlier because I only had two and a half hours of sleep post night shift this afternoon. Sorry, new phone. Who dis? I mean to say, blue phone. Who dis? I think I was also excited to shoot my first video with my phone. Alright, testing out the first video on my iPhone 12 mini. Boop, 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 boop. But luckily, this evening, I was able to take another hour nap. So I have enough energy to do some birthday greetings. Just wanted to wish a happy birthday to Kylie. I remember over 12 years ago, you helped me conquer my ambition of going snowboarding for the first time. And you organized that skiing slash snowboarding trip with all the Filipinos up in Blue Mountain that one year. So I just wanted to thank you for doing that, Kylie. Hope you and your family are staying safe at this time and you have a great birthday. Also wanted to do a quick birthday shout out to one of my Ryerson classmates, Andrea. Feliz cumpleaños. I remember the last time I saw you was when we celebrated a late mass in Oshawa a couple years back. As well as the fun times we had with our great clinical group back in second year under the guidance of Cheryl, our clinical instructor. Hope you and your family are staying safe and healthy out there, Andrea, and feliz cumpleaños otra vez. So I woke up not too long ago, sleeping with my iPhone baby, and check out how much sleep I actually got. I mean, like, this is great. This is the first time I've had over 8 hours of sleep in probably months, let alone in 2021. 
So this is what it's like when people get at least eight hours of sleep. This is nice. Let's go get a start to our day before I go in for night shift tonight. So here's the thing. Since I bought my new delivery bag, I now have two delivery bags, meaning that I probably should sell the other one. Which means a quick photo shoot with my old one, posting it up on Facebook Marketplace and seeing if there's any interest if anybody wants to buy it. We're now going to come at you with some birthday greetings. Wishing a happy birthday to Cassie. This is a friend that my sister and I hung out with summers ago when we were back in Connecticut for my Uncle Ed's birthday. I hope you're doing well Cassie and you have a great birthday. Want to also wish a happy birthday to Bradshaw. A former science teacher of mine who helped get the most out of our students. She headed the bioscience club, took a picture of me and Dr. J. Yorick, and also told me in high school to pull up my baggy pants while I was in class. So I went out the next day and bought some suspenders. Hope you take care Bradshaw and you have a happy birthday. And last but not least, I want to wish a happy birthday to my Manang Maribi. Thank you for hosting my family every summer when we would go down to Connecticut to celebrate Manang Ed's birthday. And for cheering me on when I was doing my half marathons in Hartford. I hope you're celebrating your milestone birthday very well and I can't wait to see you guys after the pandemic. So happy birthday once again Manang Maribi. So today, March 8, signified the end of the stay at home order in Toronto which gave me the opportunity to go out shopping at the stores earlier today, but I decided against it because everybody's probably thinking the same thing, taking advantage that the GTA is in the gray zone and going out shopping too. So I decided to stay away from the crowds, stay at home, and make some temporary tattoos. Which actually brings us to the lesson of the week. But bear in mind, in this video, I'm not the greatest artist, but it just means it's time for the lesson of the week. Hope you guys learned something from that video and I look forward to making some new temporary tattoos in the future. Now on to some birthdays. Wanted to wish a happy belated birthday to Lisa. Happy belated birthday Lisa. I remember first meeting you when we went to Tris nightclub with a couple of friends. And as a photographer there I was shooting photos and you allowed me to shoot this photo of you that night. Either way I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy and you have a happy birthday Lisa. And a very happy birthday to my Tito Jan. I just want to thank you for being the great father role model that you are, working hard for the family as well as helping drive them around so that I can go and see you guys. I can't wait till this pandemic is over so that you and I can share a beer while watching the Raptors on TV and I hope you have a great birthday Tito. Anyways, we've come to the end of the episode. Be sure to follow Jay Walker POV on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Be sure to like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button to be alerted for any new videos coming from Jay Walker POV. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.